Hello, church family. We are a people who are tremendously blessed. Even these days when it's horrendously cold, I've been shocked by this thought that it's just so beautiful outside. It's bright. It's amazing, even though it's so very cold. We live in a really beautiful part of the world. God has blessed us so tremendously and just so abundantly in all kinds of different ways. I've also been challenged a little bit by the thought of when God gave the Ten Commandments to Israel in Exodus chapter 20, the very first commandment that he gave to his people was, You shall have no other gods before me. I think in this season we're challenged with all different kinds of change, or the potential for all different kinds of change. One of the questions that it's stirring within my own heart is, do I love God more than everything else? When I find that things in my life feel threatened, do I feel afraid of that? Do I feel really intense about that? Does that shake me to the core? Or do I feel confident and strong and secure because I know that the very core of my being, I want God more than I want anything else? Again, it's possible in this season that God's granting us a unique opportunity to say that we want him more than anything else. And even when all kinds of different things in our world, our relationships, our lives, our experience feel threatened or shaken or unsure, God is giving us a unique opportunity to say we want him more than we want anything else. And so today as you journey through life, I just want to encourage you just to spend some time with God, just processing with him. Is he just the deepest and the first love of your soul? Is he the one that you want more than everything else? And if anything else in your life seems to be threatened or shaken, would you feel strong and confident because you know that you have Jesus? That nothing in the world can separate you from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, and you know that that is enough. I write of this thought again when Peter betrayed Jesus. Three times he uh, denied Jesus and that he didn't even know him at all. And when Jesus sees him after the resurrection, he meets with him in John chapter 21. We read this account of Jesus asking Peter three times, Peter, do you love me more than these? And I feel like Jesus is saying to me these days a little bit of, you know, Andrew, do you love me more than these? Do you love me more than everything else in your life? Do you love me more than a sense of safety or security or what people think of you or how you are seen or known? Do you love me more than everything else? Let's allow Jesus to ask us that question so that we can affirm like Peter did. Lord, you know that I love you. Lord, you know that you are the first in my heart. Let's make him the first in our hearts today.